Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for supporting my articles over the years, and thanks for supporting Trail Runner. As we try out new adventures like this one, um, where I get up here and stammer a little bit about a topic I consider important. So this is too important to just write about. This is about tying your shoes. So what do I share in common with a kindergarten teacher? Well, I get asked this question a lot. How should you tie your shoes? Um, these questions are a little more complex though. It gets to people that have foot carnage from races even in really well-fitting shoes. And a lot of the time that gets back to how you tie them. So there's only two tips you need to know. Um, the first relates to metatarsals, how you tie them over this area in the midfoot. So there's a number of ways to do it. Basically, you want it snug, but not too snug. A lot of people really cinch it down, like they're trying to put on a corset to a 17th century ball. Um, or in a more modern example, trying to put on Spanx or something like that. Um, that's not the way you want it. Just snug, not too snug. Let your metatarsals breathe. Experiment with having it a little looser if you've always been the type of person that has it tighter. The next thing is possibly the biggest one of all, and I heard this from one of my athletes um, who heard about a shoe mishap I had at the 50K National Championships this year where my shoe actually came off in mud and was like, what are you doing? How does that even happen? Um, and shared a video with me from a few years ago that went viral about what these mysterious extra holes are for. So 50% of you out there will be like, well, of course we know what that's for. And 50% of you will probably be like me and be like, oh my gosh, this changes my life. Totally changes the fit of the shoe if you have problems like I do. Um, so what do you do with that last hole? And so I'm gonna get really close to show you how this works. And what this will do is prevent sliding around in the shoe. When you're going downhills, it won't, it'll keep you from going forward in the shoe, hurting your toenails. Or when you turn, it'll prevent your shoe foot from swimming around a little bit in the shoe. Life-changing stuff here. Um, and you can turn off if you already know this advice. So I'm gonna get really close here and go off the screen to everyone's mercy and show you how this works. So here's the shoe. Tied as normal. I literally just got these out of the box. Usually put in about 100 miles a week in these types of shoes. So this lacing really matters. So. This shoelace out here, instead of crossing over to use that, you go through this hole and make a loop about that big. Same on this side. Make a loop after going through the hole. Lots of jokes to be made here. I refuse to make those jokes because this is a family offering. So, okay, so you have this set up, two loops each side. And I'm gonna step back for the rest so you can see how this works. So, let's put the shoe on as normal. It's already pretty nice and snug on the metatarsals. So pull this up, have these two loops. So instead of just tying like normal, you go through this outside loop with this one, go through the outside loop with the other one, and then you pull it tight. Instead of pulling up, you pull out to the sides. So you see how that cinches down. That's cinched on the heel now. That's not going anywhere. So with that shoe, you can ready to run hundreds of miles down steep trails, no concerns at all. Actually, don't do hundreds of miles. That's bad for your health. Do dozens possibly over the course of the week and do it at the direction of a coach that knows what he's doing. <laughs> so you tie it down like that, then tie as normal. I'm not going to finish the rest of this video other than to get to this because I still do bunny ears and that's rather embarrassing. But that's the video. It's now cinched down on my heel. That's going nowhere. Your toes are going to thank you. Your feet are going to thank you. And your kindergarten teacher will thank you. Thanks so much, guys. You're awesome.